Well, a very good evening to you wherever you are. I do hope that you can join me in appreciating this truly beautiful evening. A night that is absolutely ideal for a game of football. The scenes here really are something. A beautiful picture under the floodlights. Traffic and transport round here, not the kindest. But regardless of that, the fans have found a way of getting here. There is a sense of theatre and the decibel levels are rising. And the match day noise at this place is truly special. The pride, the passion, it adds to a massive sense of occasion. Well, this is the perfect... Shiro! Well, that is rather wayward. You did so well to make use of the little space that was afforded to him. It wasn't easy, that. Morris ended up in no man's land. He's looking to set free a runner. Vitinha. He's a sharp little ball here. And that interception was most necessary. Now it's Mbappe. And it's Griezmann. And smartly reclaimed. Griezmann. Mbappe. Shot could be... And the shot! And he's done it! Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt. And here we are, early stages. He struck one, and he looks hungry for more. Yeah, they were made to pay for not moving the ball smartly enough through a very strong pressing wave. So, a breakthrough already. Oh, he's put a shade too much on that. There they go, hunting again. Pass is just off target. Fiddles it through, turns and goes back. Skillfully cut out, he is so at ease on the ball. The message is clear, none shall pass. Shoot. Oh, shooting chance! It's in! A quite incredible spell. They are flying. And he stuck it away as if laser-guided. He had the whole picture in his head, Peter. He didn't even look at the goalkeeper. France take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. And things are much healthier in their favour. Mind you, you would have thought that when the last one went in. They need to play this quicker in transitions like this. Oh, that's fabulous. In with the challenge. Oh, he's enjoyed that. He evidently loves the contest. Bops him off it and wins back the ball. Looking for the runner. Now the finish! It's a goal! And how about the timing of the pass and run? They've worked it before, and no doubt they'll work it again. We have got ourselves a game here. Listen, goals change games, and that has changed the whole complexion of this one. They have the momentum now. Well, there is a look that says it all. A piercing stare. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Getting on for a third of the way through the game. Midway through the first period, and it's looking quite a game here. Well, the run has been sold a little bit short there. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass... And the shot! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Chip through, and he was quick to react. Oh. 
Joao Palinha. Chance here to counter. Shin to shin, bicep to bicep, and he wins out. Now that's well seen too. Oh, they could be caught out here. And they'll start all over again with the goalkeeper. Oh, that's been cut out, well played. Portugal are still behind as we reach out for half-time. Danilo Pereira. Oh, that's a key interception. And here's Giroud. Mbappe. There's the hit. It's there. A two-goal lead, and they're firmly in control. France clearly executed that with considerable confidence. It only took seconds to score once the ball was recovered. So the lead now is two. Listen, it's up to them now how they think about it from here, because for me it's crying out for them to force the issue. Well time, excellent interception. Jota. Oh, red, nice interception. Might be danger here. And the shot! Really well taken goal. Deep into first half stoppage time, a crucial goal. As simple as you like, the outcome utterly inevitable. Yeah, I really can't say enough as to... And that is going to be the final action of the first half. And neither side holding back here, it has been quite a half this. E vamos dar todas as boas-vindas aos nossos jogadores. Substituição para Portugal. Número 8. Abandono o relvado. E vamos dar todos os jogadores. Número 17. Portugal need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution. And I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Well, it looked promising for a moment, but it came to nothing. Kante spots it and intercepts. Dumbele, and it's Giroud. Cleared without complication. Portugal do appear to have made a half-time change. Well, I think this is probably a good time, Peter, to make ambitious change. Now it's... He gets big! It's in! <laughs> Yeah, to see it unfold as succinctly as that, it, it looks telepathic. And that means just one thing, match ball. Oh, this has been an immense contribution from one player. He's been just about unplayable. It's Giroud! They are rampant! And surely that settles it. The keeper deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late. He's got four. That is remarkable. He's got two. 
He got the hard part right, but the rest wrong. Oh, no, that was never going to make it. Matius Nunes. Interesting ball. No, that's been intercepted. And here's Dembele. Oh, that's been intercepted. And he's straight offside. And he cuts out the supply. He's looking wide. Now, what about a counter attack? Portugal perhaps wondering what the best time is for their next substitution. Bit of a communication breakdown there, it seems. Played out to the right. Mbappe. Well, he's seen that early. Here's the sentence. And the finish! Oh, the ball's run loose here. In he goes again. And he hits the net. It is no contest. It is a landslide. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with. And to find it, I think it was a fine drive. And I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. France totally rampant here. Well, he was clearly disappointed with that pass. France clearly should have gone for the easier pass. Now they'll have to quickly regroup. Floated up and over. Now looking to orchestrate a counter. Over to the left. Well, quality clearly deserted him at the crucial moment. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. It's a pretty loose pass. And he's on his way. Can he put it away? He scored. And he's only too grateful to capitalise on the keeper's misfortune. Well, listen, last line of defence and you don't get it right then you're paying a visit to your net. Portugal grab a goal, but it's not to say there's anything much more than a consolation. He won't be happy with that one. Kunde. Well time, excellent interception. He steps in, and that's the end of that. Looking for options for movement. And the finish! Now, who's going to be first to this? Bernardo Silva. And here's the chance to counter. Now it's Ruben Neves. Yeah, this kind of bold running will always get you into areas of possibility. And the shot! It's in! Complete awareness. He understood what was needed and he executed it smoothly well his appreciation of space then was absolutely exceptional a moving genius
está a proceder a uma substituição. Time then for the first substitution of the game. So is this the start of a comeback? Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Cristiano Ronaldo looking to shake off some unwanted attention. Yeah, and what they've got to realise, Peter, is that they won't get away with excessive force for long, so they're running a fine line now. And he's got the beating of his man. He's looking for the runner here. Now that's well seen too. Aimed beyond the defence. Well, that pass isn't the best. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Now it's Bernardo Silva. Mendy did well to stay calm there. That has not gone well. Five minutes to add. Well seen. Saw that coming. Now it's Joao Felix. Well, that looks a decent ball. Pass somewhat off target. That'll be a throw. Substitution for Portugal. Número 7. Cristiano Ronaldo. Número 10. Vão dar os seus lugares a. Número 9, número 26. Uh, it's a poor throw that, picked off with relative ease. Now it's Ruben Neves. And that will be the final act. Well, that was intense. An enjoyable contest that either could easily have won, ultimately decided by just the odd goal. Your reflections then, Jim. Portugal really were sleepwalking in central defence, and the alarm just never went off. My thanks to Jim alongside me, and as the fans make their way home, so must we. Good evening to you. Caros espectadores, gostávamos de pedir o vosso contributo para o fundo de...